Friday's job report is being called a Goldilocks report. It showed an improvement in inflation and also good or decent job coverage. We're looking when you take Friday into account of a 14 day balance. As you can see, the market has gone all the way from the low back up to and above the 14 day balance on Friday. The question as we come into next week is do we have an upside breakout or do we have an upside breakout failure? Now, this is more complex than looking at it mechanically. What a lot of people don't understand is if in fact there's to be anything lasting to the market, I would expect that we would start to see the investment money come off the sideline and reemploy some of their cash. They don't usually participate on day one. So what you saw on Friday is more trading money and short covering rather than a view of what the longer term money is doing. The longer term money is more patient and before they re-enter the market, they will usually have their investment committee meetings and then they will make a broader decision of what they wanna do. So we don't know the answer to that. Next week has some very interesting and what can be some very meaningful announcements. The New York Fed on Monday will give their expectation for inflation for the next year, as well as expectation in inflation for the next five years. That could be a meaningful report. Additionally, on Monday, the Boslick, the uh, Atlanta Fed chairman, uh, our president will be talking. He expressed a view last week that maybe the upcoming meeting on February 1st will only require a 25 basis point increase in rates. Now remember, he's one person. So we have interesting information on Monday, but then later in the week, we get CPI. And I would guess that if there's anything really meaningful in here, it's going to be very important to see what the market does with CPI on Thursday. So now to recap, as you come into Monday, the first issue we're dealing with, do we have an upside breakout failure or do we get an upside breakout relative to the 14 day trading range? Balance is one of the two most important comments or elements we deal with. Balance trading rules are as follows. Go with a breakout from balance, fade or go against a, a breakout from balance that fails, and if the market remains within balance, it just further sees that balance tighten. So again, I think early next week is very important. I don't want to draw any conclusions to follow through from Friday. Friday was a lot of short covering. Short covering can weaken a market. It doesn't have to. It may be the start of something more, but be very careful that you look beyond price. And the best way as you start the week is take a look and see if we exit or remain within this 14-day balance. Good luck and have a great trading week.